Let's now go to edit mode by hitting tab. Uh, let's scale down on the Z. And let's scale just down overall. So that we have something about that size. So with, it's about one big box size. Uh, and then let's just move it up. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, which should equal one box, which should be fine. Let's move it about over, over here. So about four boxes high should be fine. And then we'll go to uh, on the side view as well, sorry. Scale on the uh, Y by clicking and dragging on this green. And make it about as wide as you think a coffee table should be. So for my case, I think I'll go with, yeah, four smaller boxes over here. So four smaller boxes on the side and uh, one bigger box or 10 smaller boxes on the front. And the height is about three boxes as well. So once you've done that, just go ahead and add in a loop cut by clicking uh, on this little widget over here and then clicking right in the middle over here. And then now just go to face select mode and uh, let's go to selection mode. Select this face, shift select this one, shift click, shift click, and then just go to uh, mesh delete faces. Let's now go ahead and go to edge select, select this edge and also select this edge. And then let's go to vertex, new edge from face vertices so that we fill this up with a face. Okay, so we have this style of a coffee table. Okay, so uh, we need to add some thickness to our coffee table. It's not realistic to have a paper thin uh, coffee table, so we need to give it some thickness. So to do that, let's go to the modifier panel, add modifier, solidify to solidify our coffee table. And let's just click and drag this thickness to give it a bit more thickness. Uh, around about there should be good. Click even thickness and high quality normals. Also what I might do is I might change it around and make the thickness go out rather than in. So we have something that looks like that. Okay, so the outside is now done. So to finish off this model, what we can do is we just go ahead and uh, go to our 3D cursor, click it somewhere over here. Or maybe somewhere over here right in the middle. And let's go to add a mesh cube. Uh, let's go to edit mode. Let's scale this one down quite a bit by clicking and dragging on this white circle. Sorry. Oops. Let's move it down and let's scale it out on the y-axis by clicking and dragging this green widget. And we'll just move it up just a tad. All right. Oh, actually, we'll scale it up on the z as well and then move it down. Scale it up some more. And then let's move it up a bit. Should be fine. Okay, and then let's select the linked. To select all of that linked. And let's duplicate that. And hit X to constrain it on the x-axis. Let's move it to the other side. Okay, so in terms of the coffee table, that is quite basic and that generally should be enough. Okay, so it's a very, very basic looking uh, low poly coffee table. So let's just give it some basic shader. So let's go over to the material view. And for this one, for the stand, Actually, I might just make the stand look a little bit more interesting by going to duplicate that one. So we duplicate and then constrain it on the x-axis, but then scaling it out on the x-axis. Oops. Like so. Scaling it down on the z. And then moving it up. Just to add a little bit more visual interest to it. Maybe scaling it down on the y as well. That should be good. Okay, so that should be fine. 
So let's select the top part. Let's go ahead and create a new material. We'll call this one the coffee top. Oops. Coffee table top. Let's give this a nice uh, yellowish brownish color. Something like that. No rough, oh, very low roughness. And for the bottom, we'll call this one the coffee table bottom or well, coffee table stand and we'll give this a dark brownish color so something around here let's turn up the roughness all right so that's it that's how you create a low poly coffee table using blender so in the next tutorial we'll create a tv stand for our tv so hope to see you then thanks for watching